So hello there, people are already asking when is the next video coming uh, in my channel. So I was away for two weeks in my holidays, so I couldn't uh, uh, post any new videos. So, but I have a lot to do now, so you will see in the next days that there are a lot of videos coming. Um, today I will check all my African uh, big flower beetles, Mecunorina torquata ugandensis, the blue form, then torquata immaculicolis, the green form, and polyphemus. I want to check the larvae, and um, I think that they are as big now that they can uh, be put into smaller boxes for pupation. So let's see what happens. This is the box from um, torquata immaculicolis, 25L2 larvae. Uh, were put into this box 23rd of June, that's uh, more or less uh, four months ago. So we will see uh, what th this larvae did in these four months and I will decide then whether I put them from this box where they live together into smaller boxes uh, where they can probably pupate. So let's see what we find here. There's a lot of larvies in here, and they seem big and healthy. Look at them. Immaculicolis is a very nice and big um, species of Torquata. This is a nice male here. So I think, and also we have to check how heavy they are now, and so of course. That gives us an idea how, in what stage they are, this is over 30 grams. So I think I will put them in a box like this, 500 milliliters. Um, so here they uh, can pupate uh, without being disturbed by other um, individuals. And what is a, a very big advantage of this method is that you can check always from outside in what stage the larva is, whether it's pupated, yes or no, so you, you have this little window where you can see what happens inside. And the material that I put into this box can be either the material that, that is used here already, it has a lot of um, fresh pellets already in this substrate, but uh, there is also a lot of material, if you see, look, if, if you watch that under this uh, better land, you can see probably that here are some fresh pellets, and in between is just a little leafy material, so I think it's not used up already completely, and I think that the lorry can, can um, uh, eat on that material for some time and even pupate in that uh, kind of material. But if you are not sure, just put in some more of the of leaves and in the pupation stage they don't need uh, as a wet material as they can use when they are larvae, so it's better to keep it a little bit drier at the end of the larval process when they go into uh, pupation. So I fill the box with of this, some of this material I put the larva in there. If you want, you can check whether it's a male or a female, but that's not always as easy as it sounds when you say it, because you have to find this little black dot uh, on the abdomen that is the herald's organ that has a little point and a little opening to the skin. So this, to see, it's not easy because you can, um, it, it can be. Uh, that you think it's a hair can also make kind of a black spot. So, and now they have they they have a, they have been down in the substrate already. So that's what I have to do now with Immaculicolis. As you see, they are very quickly. They have very quickly disappeared in the substrate, and of course, now first I have to find them and put them singly in this box. And I would guess now that they are four months L3, so this will probably be another two months um, to go until they pupate. And I will say that in a month 
I will have to check uh, whether they need some more uh, uh, substrate. So, that's it. I have to put this material a little bit uh, back to the box because I think there are more larvae now down here. Somewhere hidden in the substrate so that I, I can find them. And put them in a box. Here's one more. This is pretty big one also. So it, it looks already a little pumped up. So that can be sometimes a sign that they are going uh, towards pupation when they fill all their uh, body cavities with material that they use later uh, to build the, the pupil uh, chamber. So this must be around 30 grams too, I think. Yeah, 30.6 grams also. So I just put it in the box here. 500 milliliters, that's enough. And also the form of the of this plastic thing is very good so they can build a pretty big uh, pupil chamber in a small box like this and um, you don't have to be afraid that the, that the pupil chamber might be too small uh, for these kind of animals. So that's it and next check will be in a month and then I'll be back then. If you want to see another video um, about the, the same process you just uh, switch now to the German playlist and you can uh, watch another video there how, it, uh, how I go on with this uh, process. Thanks for watching. <laughs>